in God's eyes, I am blameless. When God, see, when Satan looks at you, he sees sin. When God looks at me, he sees his son. And so, so I'm without blame. Why? And then God decided in advance to adopt. I'm going to talk about that word adopt. To adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do. And it gave him great pleasure. Say, God adopted me. Say, I'm adopted. I'm a son. See, see, you're not a slave. You're not a servant. You're a son. You've been adopted. Now, when, when, when someone, now I'm not adopted, so I don't claim uh, to know that uh, firsthand knowledge, but I have talked to people who were adopted, and from what I can understand, people who are adopted, it takes them some time to truly feel like a son. Right? Now, let's say, let's say that, that someone comes in, let's say we were to adopt a boy, and we have boys, right? Yeah, but it's not a girl. I'm using boys right here, right? Yeah, I know you want another girl, but not, that's not going to happen. All right, so let's say... Let's say we were to adopt a boy, and we already have boys in the house, and we bring another boy in the house. We bring a boy in the house, and we tell that boy, I don't, we don't love you any different than we love these other boys. We can say that, but it's going to take that boy some time to believe it. Right? At first, this little boy right here is going to go in the pantry, get whatever he wants. He's going to go in the fridge, get whatever he wants, and we'll tell the other little boy, your son now, you can go. And at first, he'll be apprehensive, right? But one day, say one day, if he ever gets it down in his heart that he's a son, right? That when we get a new car, he said, we got a new car. You know what I'm saying? It's not like they got a new car. We got a new car. We move into a new house. It's not like they got a new house. We got a new house, right? Why? Because you're a son. When you're a son, you just go all, all up in the fridge. You ain't asking nobody. You just go in the fridge. You go in the pantry because whatever your parents have is what you have. I'm telling you that God has adopted us. Look up into heaven real quick. Look up into heaven, right? Look up into heaven. Everything daddy has is yours. You can go in the fridge. It's okay. You are not a servant. You're not working for anything. Everything daddy has is yours. The cattle on a thousand hills belongs to the Lord. There's nothing that's not mine. Everything belongs to him, so everything belongs to me. Say, I'm not a servant. Say, I'm not a slave. I'm a son. This is not tradition. This is not tradition. Tradition is like, well, I got to come to church. I got to do this. I got to clap on the second and fourth beat. I got to, you know, do it. No, 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 no. You're a son. Even if you don't know how to clap, you're a son. E e even if you don't have a perfect Sunday school attendance record, you're a son. Amen. Nothing can change the fact that you're a son once you're a son. Amen. Say amen to that. Amen. Even when your son acts crazy, he's still your son. Amen. Say, I'm a son. 